Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. 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 Happy October, happy spooky season. For some reason this year, I am like all for spooky season. I want my scary movies. Uh, a bunch of them are coming out like Candyman and another one I was talking to my nephew about last night. But um, to go along with the theme of spooky season, I am gonna be talking about a new palette from Nomad. And this is called the Haunted Europe palette. And it looks like this and it has the little um, thing on the front. I forgot what I what they used to call these things as kid, but the kids, the pictures um kind of change. But um I have become very fond of Nomad Cosmetics. I think the formulas of their eyeshadows are amazing. They are cruelty free and vegan and the prices are pretty nice, I would say. When I'm thinking about other sort of indie brands and either other higher end brands for the amount of product that you get, I would say that this is a pretty good deal for the, with their palettes. Um, this palette, I'm gonna show you, it does have 18 shades and it is $44. It is actually on pre-order right now because they're kind of sold out, which I expected. That's why I jumped on it. But this is what the shades look like. Very pretty. I always love the embossing that they put in. They always put one shade with their logo on it. But really pretty, really appropriate for fall. I think you can do this from fall or winter, I would say. Not just for like spooky season. But we are going to jump right in. I am going to do what I have been doing with the last few palettes. I may do a few swatches. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and create a look with the palette instead of doing the swatches. This palette is gorgeous. I think I am going to stay. So you sort of have like this looks like the warm half of the palette and this looks like the cool half of the palette. I think I'm going to stay on the cool half of the palette with this look today. And we are going to get started. Um, I am going to use one shade from the warm side and that is Mary King's Kurt. Mm -mm. I can't see Mary King's clothes. I don't know what that means, but it's the shade right here. That's going to be my transition shade. Other than that, I'm going to stay on the warm side of the palette and I want to jump right in. So we're going to just put the Mary King's clothes in my crease here. I am going to go now in with the shade Ghost River. And that is this shade right here. And I'm going to put that in my crease as well. All right, I am going to go into the shade Big Bad Wolf, and that is this shade here. And I am going to put that on like the first half of my lid.
All right, so I'm gonna go in, there's a purple in here called Krampus. And it's right here. I'm gonna put that like in the middle of my lid. And this one is pretty. I just completely destroyed the embossing on it. It was a spider web. Really pretty, I love this. So it looks purple, but it also has some glitter, a little bit of glitter in it. Yeah, this, I see a little bit of glitter in it. Really pretty though. I really, really like that shade. All right, and I am gonna go on the outer third of my eyelid with the shade Brand Castle, which is this shade right here. Hoping that's dark enough. We'll see in a second. Let's see. Let's get a little more of Krampus right here. Okay. And I'm going to take this brush here, the BK Beauty brush that I was going to use for my um, lid and just kind of bring this a little bit into the crease. Take my fluffy brush here and just sort of blend it up here. And we got a little bit messy with it. So, all right, and I am going to take the shade Hoya Basiu. I'm sure I'm screwing that up. Hoya Basiu Forest, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to go into the inner corner. All right, so I just kind of went up and cleaned up up under my eyes a little bit with my um, Pro Filter Concealer. And this eye wants to be watery again. Um, I am going to take the same number two refer brush. I am actually gonna go on the side that I say it was um, warm i'm trying to blend this in a little bit more i'm looking like a raccoon up under my eyes not a fan um i'm gonna go with this shade here which is called catacombs the catacombs and i'm gonna put that on like this part of my lower lash line I love this color. This is a really pretty lid color also. All right, and then I'm just gonna go back in with Brand Castle, which is the shade that I use on the outer third. And we're gonna go in with the same brush. And 
go the rest of the way under with this. I need to grab a, why does that thing keep closing out on me? An eyeliner and go in for that. Let me grab an eyeliner. I will be right back. All right, so I grabbed one of my Lori Geller um, Long Kajal Longwear Eyeliners. And this one is in the shade Twilight Coal. And it looks like this. And I am gonna go into my waterline with this shade. And then I am just gonna put on some mascara. And I will be right back. All right, we are all set. So this is the look let's see if we can zoom in this is the cool look that i came up with with this palette we are doing wash and air dry today so forgive my hair but this is the nomad haunted europe palette right now if you do you can order it but do know that you are ordering a pre-order and let me see if i can find when they said it was going to be out it will it just says for delivery pre-order now for delivery in october so you will get it this month um, I really, really enjoy using this palette as with the other palettes, the shades are easy to blend. The shade Big Bad Wolf is one of those shades that are better with your finger. So it's Krampus. Krampus is gorgeous. It is a really pretty purple shimmery color, but it has like maybe some pink and blue glitters in it. Like that's what I'm seeing on my eyelids anyway. I am actually gonna swatch a couple of shades cause they are popping out at me. The first one is gonna be this shade Boogeyman. I'm gonna do Boogeyman and it's either Huska or Houska Castle. And that are these, that's these two gold shades right here. They look a little bit similar. Um, Boogeyman looks a little bit more of an old gold. I am so sad to swatch that because the embossing comes off very easy. That is the Boogeyman shade. Let me do a little bit of a better. That is the Boogeyman shade. And then I'm going to swatch the Houska Castle right beside it and you'll see one looks a little bit lighter so this one at the top is boogeyman has a little bit more of an orangey gold and this is more of a yellow gold the house the castle i am also going to um swatch the shade mary cemetery mary cemetery and highgate cemetery and this is mary gate and this is highgate and these are your two greens or oh, your two green shimmers. This is Mary Cemetery. Uh, I hate messing up my um, palette. That's Mary Cemetery. And this one is Highgate Cemetery. And it has, it, it's almost like the green is almost a shift in this shade, but it is really, really pretty. I am gonna swatch, it looks like Grindale. Grindale. And that is a matte green, but it is really a pretty like foresty green color. Really pretty. And let's swatch. I'm going to swatch for you Bloody Mary. And it is a red uh, burgundy berry. I don't know. You know I'm not good with that. But that is the shade Bloody Mary there. Really pretty. It reminds me of something from the Hocus Pocus palette. Um, but that is my little swatches for you. And this once again is the look that I came up with. Goes very well with my shirt today. So really pleased with that. 
thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are already subscribed please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup bye